Hello and welcome back super mums. In today's video I'm going to be giving you a one step process that's going to save you a whole lot of time fast. So ironically a lot of time saving time management tactics require a large investment of time up front. But today I'm going to be giving you something that you can do that is going to, although, although it requires a certain amount of time investment, it's minimal and it can be really effective quickly. So I am talking systems, putting systems in place. These apply to like the mundane jobs, the things where you're not really worried about mindfulness. Uh, you don't really need to think and process through how the washing machine works every time you use it. Uh, you've got, you know how to put the detergent in the thing and you know what that you like a colour catcher sheet or that you want to use vanish or that you don't or that your whites go on at 60, you know these things. And yet sometimes with these simple mundane jobs, we overthink them every time and it's costing you valuable seconds, valuable minutes, valuable hours in your days and weeks. It's a little bit ridiculous. And it's surprising the different areas that you can implement systems. From knowing exactly where your coffee is, so that you go into the kitchen, you know, you put the kettle on, then you get your mug, then you get your coffee, then you go back to the kettle with both these things and you make your coffee. These are really simple systems. But when you start looking closely at your life and looking at like things that are taking up too much time that just, just don't matter, you need the end result, so like you need the cup of coffee, but you don't need to enjoy or embrace the process of making it and you can save lots of time over little bits over all these little jobs. So these kind of systems can also be things like uh, when you get up in the morning. So I get up in the morning, my dressing gown is in the same place I put my dressing gown on. I come upstairs, I use the bathroom, I brush my teeth, I hang my dressing gown up, I get changed, I turn my laptop on that's like my routine, my system, whatever. Like it's the same every, well, same like four days a week. If I'm going to the gym, so that's two days a week, I know my system's slightly different, but it's still, I get up, I put on my dressing gown, I come upstairs, I use the bathroom, I brush my teeth, I come and I put my gym kit on, I don't turn my laptop on, but I pick up my phone and I leave. It's so simple, but it stops me like waking up in the morning going, oh, uh, what am I doing next? Like, I literally know that all I have to worry about when I wake up is putting my dressing gown on. And once I put my dressing gown, all I have to worry about is getting to the bathroom. Like, it's simple, it saves me loads of time in making those decisions because I'm there, it's done, it's gone. This is also really handy if you've got lots of people in your house and not always the same person is doing that one job. Uh, so, for example, for me, this would be the laundry. If I am like loading up the washer but maybe my partner's gone to the gym or I'm about to go to the gym and the washer's gonna go on after those bits go in, I will leave the laundry detergent on the side on top of the dish or on top of the washing machine and that way people know that the, the laundry detergent stuff isn't in yet and the washer isn't ready to go on. If the, the door is open and the laundry detergent stuff is in, I am finished. If they've got something to put it in, they can whack it in, shut the door, and it can start. That's like, there's just a known, a known system in our house that that is just how it works. So it's really funny when you start looking at your life where you can actually implement systems. So one of the things that I found was going into the gym. I get to the, the gym door about five to 10 to six, and then as soon as the door opens at six, I'm in and I can go and work out. But I was getting on the cross trainer, I was entering in my program, and by the time I was starting, it was quarter past six. And I'm like, how am I losing 15 minutes? And it turned out that the going to my locker and leaving like my shoes and my jacket and like changing my shoes and everything there was losing me about 10, 10 minutes. It should have taken me five minutes and the whole thing was taking me 15 minutes. So I implemented a system where I only take a really light jacket and I wear my shoes there and I now have a very small little gym bag so I can take it onto the gym floor like literally uh, it's one of those lululemon small bags I mean if you've ever been <laughs> to lululemon these bags are awesome I, they should sell those bags so I, no don't don't I love those bags too much um but yeah no, I now have this now this like little bag and I don't waste those 10 minutes going to the gym but then there's one day a week where I actually take all my swim stuff and my kid 
and I drop her at crash and I need to put stuff in the locker and things. But I now know exactly which pocket the padlock's in. I know that I get my main bag. I have a little bag that goes down the side bit. I take my towel out that goes in the bottom bit. I can then get to my trainers. I put my trainers on. I know where my padlock is. Padlock goes in the thing and the kid's off to crash. Like, it's the same thing every time because it doesn't matter. It doesn't, it actually enriches my day, that being the same thing. I don't need to be all mindful and prayerful about this amazing locker and the fact that I've got this wonderful bit of technology in a padlock. If you're really worried about those kind of things, give yourselves like a 15 minute meditation every week to meditate on how awesome mundane things are and save yourself loads of time when you're actually doing the mundane things. So finding where to implement systems, this is gonna be the key. It may be that you need to put pen to paper. It may be that you need to jot down everything you do in a day or in a week and really think through. That's where it might take a little bit longer. Or it might be that something you do, you need to buy something in to make it quicker. And maybe you need a pinboard to make it quicker. So you're gonna need a little time investment. But it can be as simple as like looking at the thing you do and in a few seconds going, this is the order I'm now gonna always do this thing in. So for me, that would be making my, my morning coffee. I know that I hit the kettle, my cups are up here, but the coffee's over here. So I hit the kettle, I put my cup out, I go and get my coffee on the way back to the cup, I get my spoon and I'm back there with it all. I make uh, the coffee, put the coffee, the, the, the chocolate, because I have mochas in the cup and then I have it, the coffee and the mocha stuff is in a box and I then take that back while the water and the, the coffee stuff are making their magic things. And that is now the order that I do it in. And it took me like a few seconds to go, this is always the order I'm now gonna do this in. Done, system made, 10 second investment. And it saves me a couple of minutes every time, every morning, which is just crazy when you add that up over a week, month, a year. It might be that you spot something that's taking lots of time. You might need to think about it a little bit more and think, how could I save? It may be that you actually look at the thing you're doing and go, I don't want to do it anymore. And there you go, you've saved a hell of a lot of time. <laughs> so if you're after a little bit of inspiration for some systems, maybe you want to have a little bit more of a sneak peek into the ones I do. Once this video has gone live, I'm going to make an effort that like week, two weeks afterwards to do a few lives on our Facebook Super Mums community group and I will make sure that they're labeled with like system inspiration or like a system to save you time so if you're catching up on this like in two years time you can still go into our group go back through the videos and you'll find them and I will do some like candid videos of some of the systems that I imp implement uh, these might be specific things that you can then do in your life or it might just be some inspiration often I find inspiration better if it's just a bit of inspiration you may be inspired on lots of areas whereas if you copy it straight out it's just one thing you can do. I will pop the link for the Super Mums community down below. Uh, this is a wonderful, supporting, encouraging page where you're not going to be sold to because I know a lot of the mum groups are a bit like that so I'm very protective over that. I want it to be a safe, supportive community environment. I hope you found this helpful and it's going to save you lots of time day to day, week to week, month to month. I really look forward to connecting with you on this amazing journey through motherhood. And remember, being a super mum is all about being the mum that you want to be.